Welcome to OMB Warehouse and another edition of the Gray Goat Garage. Today what we're going to do is put an aftermarket air filter kit on this uh, Predator Hemming 212cc engine. Um, this is a real easy uh, upgrade. It will benefit the engine. You'll get a lot more airflow through there. You will need to rejet the carburetor, especially if you're using a header. Um, the stock air box is very restrictive and we're going to get rid of it and then we're going to put some put some more air through this engine, get us some more power. All you'll need for this operation is a flat bladed screwdriver, a 10 millimeter um, wrench or ratchet with socket, and a 1 8 inch Allen head wrench. Um, our kits come complete with an extra carburetor stud, the steel shim gasket that has the rubber, the choke bracket, the choke screw. We include two lock nuts for this with the with the nylon inside so it doesn't back off. Of course the billet adapter and a free flowing air filter. So let, let's get this started. First thing I'm going to do is remove this stock air box. Find if you move your levers towards the back this will all come off easy. I've already clipped the vent hose up top and I've removed the hose off the, off the valve cover for this. So, you know, that saves me a step here, but you will need to do that. So this box will just pull right off once those two hoses are removed. This billet adapter here has a little threaded hole up here. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to take our choke bracket and you'll see that there's a large hole on one side and a small hole on the other side. I'm going to start my little button head Allen screw through the back of that bottom hole and just get it started here in the billet adapter. You'll need to use this spacer and this spacer is designed to go on one way, although you can flip it and turn it and go different directions. You want to make sure that you keep the air bleeds and the vents clear from everything. So we're just going to go ahead and slide that right on there. Make sure the orientation is correct and it matches the carburetor. At this point, I can slide the billet adapter on. Now you'll see how the choke bracket just simply goes over the top of the choke lever and that's going to hold all that in place and we'll tighten that up once we uh, get everything else assembled. The extra stud is for the non-hemi engines as they have two different length studs. So we're not going to use this for this installation here because the Hemi has equal length studs already so it's not needed for the Hemi engine. We're just going to simply get our lock nuts started. Take our 10 millimeter wrench and I'm just going to start each nut just so it's touching the billet housing. Because what I want to do is make sure that I tighten everything down equally between these two studs. I don't want to over tighten it, it doesn't take a lot of torque or anything. The lock nuts will keep it from backing off with the engine vibration. And I'm just going to snug this up just like that. At this point, we can lay the choke lever bracket down on top of the choke lever and then just simply tighten the button head allen just so it's snug, just to keep that. Make sure that your choke lever still works and everything's not too tight there. At this point, these go on real tight and you'll notice there's a groove here and some grooves on the inside that will help hold this whole assembly together. It takes a little bit of force, a little bit of back and forth movement. So I've got the, uh, the air filter on there. Now I'm just going to simply tighten my hose clamp down. And that's all there is to it. Um, it is a little intimidating when you look at the parts and then you understand that 
that I don't know how all this goes together, but uh, hopefully this video will help you make uh, everything make sense and make this an easy deal for you. Don't forget, visit us online at ombwarehouse.com or come hang out with us at oldminibikes.com. A lot of good folks over there. This is another episode of the Grego Garage and all of us from OMB, thank you.